good morning. It's a topper. So Laurie just been to yard four, that one there. So that's just dropped off another load of lime. So I think that's probably seven loads we've had so far, four to go. It's just coming fairly sporadically, the lime. Ah, wished, wished. None of that, none of that this morning. Come on, settle down. No, no. These latches on the trailer. So it's just a, there's a bar that folds back and forward. It's got wee tabs on it to hold the door shut. When I was a wee boy, I remember jumping out the tractor, trying to open or close this. Probably dad would be driving. And it used to be a nightmare. I never had the strength to close that and put the ring over the top. So you're heaving and hoeing at it. And even opening it, you used to have to kick it. I didn't have the, the force to squeeze it and pull the ring off. Anyway, what an absolute belter of a day so far. If you're not already subscribed, please, that would do me wonders and like the video. It helps me, it doesn't cost you anything. You just click subscribe down there. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Just been emptying this trailer because got done to shift today. I'm gonna clear out where the cows are so that we can put in fresh bedding because they'll start calving in about two, three weeks. There's some horses. Nay, nay, nay. My favorite animals, that and sheep. Righty ho, these coos are all coming out of here. I've set up pens here, a couple of gates, big gates, blue gates. Fire them into there and then we can get this all mucked out. Go on, buddy. Oh, they weren't playing ball straight away, but anyway, they're all in. Just about to start clearing this down, got the trailer set up. Kev is currently up there playing, but he's heading down this field, heading towards the yard, so I don't know what that means. We'll soon find out. Anyway, to the dung. Ah, I've realised, I've realised. On the right of where he's driving up and down, there's carrots going. So no plough issues, he's just marking off the edge of the field. Now he's splitting the field in two. I just kept going and ploughed the whole thing, and then got a phone call from him, from the boss. What are you ploughed all that for? Load one, which I might have filled too full, flipping plonker. Because this is a manual door, it hinges along the top there. Not like a hydraulic door where that part would shift all the way out the road. So there's a big, big gap for material to fall out the back. Whereas this, it's always going to have that bit there, even when that folds right the way up. So the dung needs to make it underneath that. And obviously, it's not underneath that. Am I going to be in a bad mood, Coos? So I'm about to go and tip it and probably get it jammed and then shout and swear. Ah, f Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Bloody brilliant. And that is why you don't employ me. Just in the future, if Dad sacks me and anyone has got a job going, let me know. Thanks. Gonna say, well, I'll not do that again, but I'll do it again. Don't you worry. You are currently looking at a plonker. So are they? Yes, I'm an idiot. I know. Mess up, fixed. full this time have some restraint we do have a trailer exactly the same as this but with a hydraulic back door but I like to keep it clean for cattle feed so pick this one Anyway, my GoPro is on a magnet right here. Yeah, yum. 
Come on, pal, out you get. <laughs> lovely. Lovely, jovely. Hopefully this load works out a wee bit better. We've let out a bit of ground over there for spuds this year. So they're just in ploughing it at the moment. That's the Lime Boys machine. Toes a forklift behind himself. So he can load wherever he goes. Everything's working fine now. I've stopped being a complete buffoon. This is the very last trailer to get picked in the morning if you're using everything. Two big 18 ton steer trailers, then a 12 ton one of these with a hydraulic back door, then a 12 ton this one with a manual back door. Very last to get picked because you have to get out in the cab to empty it. Imagine that, three steps up and down. I can't wait till cabin starts. For me, the favorite bit. I might have overcooked this again. Uh... It's not even a Monday. Highly, highly skilled forklift operator. We could really do with one of them on a the farm, actually. That's Kev on the blower. There's a stone needing hauled out. Obviously, he's got the stone grape on the front, but he's got the barrels full of water, so he can't actually try and pull it out himself. He's not sure how big it is. Kev's getting on fine. He's pulling in all the birds. I think the stone's up the other side, so let's nip over it. Water gums down this tram line. Oh, it's a right bumpy bit. It's more of a slope than it looks. You used to sew this field up and down the way because there's good long lengths that way, but you go up and down the way, you create tram lines all the way along the field and the water goes into that, it cuts grooves, whereas you go across the way, it's, it's a bit of a, it slows down the water, allows it a chance to soak into the soil rather than starting to pick up speed and run, run down the field and make a mess. That's coming up fairly well. There she's working. Just doing a fine job. Kev's dropped the skimmers one point. From where it was set at when we got it, he's not ploughing too deep, so dropped the skimmer a wee point in the front so it's doing a better job. You've been rubbing your spots off. Merely a pebble. I've managed to put a tiny wee bow in the back door. So I'm just trying to square it up a wee bit. Right, I've managed to square that bit up. I've managed to straighten all of it. Just there's a wee lip down there where it joins on to the base. You see there's a bow across the top of that. You can make out what I've done. Basically when that door was wedged open, I reversed against the pile of dung and it's pushed up against it. And see the wee bow I've put in it. Just wedge it open then I'll use the base of the headstock there to flatten that off again within reason. Right, hopefully a wee nudge down there. It's needing wallop to a sledgehammer. Didn't really want to push it too far with a forklift in case I broke something else. Straight as an arrow. It's not the first time I've done that. Just been going along these purlins when we had the straw blower. These are flat purlins, so the straw lands on the purlin, stays there, looks messy. So I've just been nipping along with a leaf blower and getting them cleaned off because the straw blower is gone now. That's one thing to take in mind when we're designing the shed. Bit, wee bits like that, like the edges where the walls finish and they join onto the sheets or whatever it may be to have an angled slope off of there like our grain store has. Just lets the straw fall off of it rather than building up and it's a place for vermin to sit and it just looks messy. Bedded. We're setting up a cabin pen in here, so we'll put all the cows through the other side, shut that off, and then this will be nice and fresh for when the first few calves arrive. 
and then slowly we basically make this pen a bit bigger as more calves arrive. On you go, on you go then, on you go. Go on, pal. Smash. Dad's coming for fuel and I've blocked access to the tank. Wasn't sure if he'd fit through there. Turn up the fuel and the filters didn't change. Well, it sounds like it needs change. Question, how often do you change a fuel filter on a fuel tank? It's not flowing too well, so I think it's a bit gunged up the other one. And that's done 28,000 litres. I actually have no idea what it should do. There we go, new filter. Put it on at 250,000 litres. It's a second-hand tank when we bought that. Kev's had another good stint at the plowing, got a good chunk done. You can see the lights on the fence, they just light up the shed like nothing else. They are very good lights. Is a thing I've considered is upgrading the lights on the forklift and... Oh, uh, well, there you go, boom. Yeah, you see a lot of guys upgrade forklift lights and whatnot to big LEDs. They do the job on the forklift. They're actually quite good on the, that forklift. Both new horns are on LEDs, that's on LEDs, so there's plenty of illumination around here. Job done, that's all that done sorted out. Cheers for watching it. If you're not already, please subscribe. It costs you nothing and it helps me out loads. And click the like, the thumbs up button. Right, job done, see you tomorrow.